So I had this problem with, with Rust for a while and um, as much as I've seen on the internet a lot of people have the same issue and that's uh, probably because of the C because of the high CPU usage because of Rust. And yeah, if you Google it, you're going to find a lot of um, similar posts about it, like Rust high CPU usage or whatever. And it's mostly related, well, that's what the guys are talking about, it's to AMD cards. But I can tell you one thing, it's, uh, I don't have an AMD card, I got an NVIDIA 980Ti, so it's not a, it's not a bad um, graphics card, not at all. Probably uh, the worst thing on my on my computer right now is the CPU, which is an old one. It's a i5 46780. Yeah, I know it's but it's it's a bottleneck, but whatever. And I've got like a um, I've got about 16 gigabytes of RAM, so there shouldn't be any problems because I can run any games easily, like Ark Survival or any high-end games. But yeah, somehow I was I was getting like a lot of uh, lag spikes during during my playtime on Rust. So after after searching for the uh, for the solution for quite some time, I found out that there was a process inside of uh, inside of my system that was causing the the memory leak or whatever. And once you go inside of your Windows Task Manager and click on this show processes from all users. You're gonna see uh, one of these, uh, one of these so-called what they're gonna call, yeah, SVC host dot exe files, and as you can see, there are currently two, two, um, two of these that are that are being used by the system, and one of them while playing uh, was causing high CPU load, it was about, or around 20 or something, so my CPU was about at 95% all the time, which is not good. Even 70 around now on Rust is not very good, but it's a lot better than, than it used to be, like around 100% or almost 100%. So, it's as you can see, it's playable now, I can play with no problems, I got around 60 FPS I think, yeah 65 FPS, and it's on probably on the highest details right now. So as you can see, I have no problems whatsoever. So let me tell you what to do. So once you're inside the Windows Task Manager, go inside the performance and go inside the resource monitor. Once you're inside the resource monitor, you can check which uh, which of these um, tabs is causing you troubles. I was for, I was searching for, um, I was searching for issues on my memory and I saw like there was um, that I had no issues with my memory and that that almost six gigabytes of it were totally free and unused. Then I looked for disk problems, any kind of disk problems, and I saw that like the zero percent highest active active time and and there there were really no issues with it. Also, my network was causing no issues, so it had to be the CPU. Once I clicked on Rust cl client exit, there was there was another. There was another image that was causing the trouble and it was called SVC host, like I said, as you can see right here. Um, it was right under rustclient.exe and it was causing like the CPU to... Um, it, it had a unit of 20 on it, so it was causing the, the lag spikes that I had. So one, once, I, once I found that one, I went into end process. And yeah, the problem went away. Yeah, once I found the process, it, uh, once I found the process that were causing it, I was, I was just going into it, clicked on end process, and the problem was gone. But the one thing that I have to mention is that this um, that specific that specific um, image is gonna pop up more than one time. It popped up like two or three times while playing, and once I removed it, like for the third time, I think. It totally disappeared and I had no problems whatsoever while playing this game. So I hope this helps some of you guys out and yeah, so you can play some more. I hope you liked the video. If so, leave a like and comment and yeah, subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching guys.